<clears throat> Just give us one sec, pal. Should we do it? All right. All right. Welcome to another episode of the Meat Mafia podcast. We are joined here today by Mills Maquin of Dace Chips. Did I say that right? No, it's dope. Tarot, tarot fried chips? Uh, tallow. Tallow. Got it, got it, got it. That makes more sense. Thanks so much for joining us, Mills. Yeah, thanks for being here, Mills. Yeah, thank you guys. Uh, Beef fat chips, huh? That's pretty cool. Beef fat foods? We like beef. Yeah, so after months of literally knocking down doors, uh, we learned that uh, no traditional chip manufacturers would work with tallow. So no one will work with tallow? Why is that? Well, it's like I said. We might know a guy. Do you know Jordan Parker? No, I don't, I don't think we'll so. We'll definitely connect you guys. I'll make an intro. He's a great guy. Was well, there anything else we should discuss, Mills? Yeah, actually. Um, because of the difficulty in finding contract manufacturers, uh, we're actually going to build our own facility. And we're going to make our own chips. Love it, Mills. <clears throat> Me too. Yeah? Yeah, but that's all the time we have. But we could literally talk to you all day. Honestly, though, man, love the chat. If there's anything we could do to help, please let us know. All right, look, no one's gonna make our chips for us, so we're gonna make them for ourselves. I wrote a plan, and we're gonna follow it. The plan is, step one, fryer. Step two, a mobile food unit. And step three is a machine from China. For the fryers, I think we go with something local, something well used, well loved. We gotta kick off a little dirt to get it going again. Welcome to another episode of the Meat Mafia podcast. We are joined here today by Mills Maquin of Dace Chips. Did I say that right? For the mobile food unit, something more polished, something we can get in day one and operate. And the machine from China. We need something that we can pack, fill, and seal the chips in. Ni hao. Hello. Oh, uh, you speak English, thanks. <laughs> hey, um, I'm calling to inquire about model number uh, 459987. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about how it works? Potato chips have become the consummate snack food. They have to be made with fresh potatoes, no more than 24 hours old. Otherwise, the chips will have black spots. Okay, I'll take it. That's the plan. What do y'all think? Yeah, me too.
Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Look, we could store the salt here, and we could put the towel in here. I mean, we could fit like five gallons of towel in here. And there's two fryers. We add a third fryer. We fry for eight hours a day, six days a week. We could make like 900 bags. Mills. What, Tim? Do you even know how to work in any of this stuff? No. No. We'll figure it out.